Hello YouTube family! How are you guys doing? It's a super hot muggy day out there today and uh, I was just you know doing some yard work cutting lawn and stuff and I thought that's it I'm taking a break I'm going down to my nice air-conditioned basement and I'm gonna share a little bit of information with my YouTube family. So sorry for the tank top and shorts um, I might lose some subscriptions because of this <laughs> But this is me, and sorry if you don't like it. <laughs> when I work outside and it's hot, I wear tank tops and old shorts. Now I gotta go back, so I'm not changing for this video. And I'm not who you're here to see. These guitars are what you're here to see. So you guys are thinking, what? You have two Musi Fusion Telecasters? Yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> so this one, you've seen before. This is kind of a green quilted maple top telly uh, and then it's got like a blue kind of purplish blue back really sharp looking guitar I didn't really like this color when I first got it but it's really growing on me and you know all about the Musies now if you've watched my videos uh, you know full size pots three way American style switch beautiful bridge nice thick block in the back uh, you know, it's got the nice ferrules in the back, no plate, nice rounded heel, uh, heel joint at the body there. It's got the contours for the palm, the forearm contour, you know, the belly cut, roasted maple neck, beautifully done. Uh, nice uh, rosewood fretboard, stainless steel frets, super, you know, nicely polished and uh, staggered, you know, stock staggered locking tuners. So, so yeah, you know, <laughs> I can find no fault to these guitars at all. But you, you always wonder sometimes, like, did, did I just get a good one? Like, is it just, you know, did I just lock out and get a good one? Because some people buy these and they return them, right? They buy them, they try them, they return them. And I, and, and I have two. Like, I have this one. I have... My classic, my classic yellow, which is up there on the wall. Uh, I think it's like the first one over here. I'll grab it for you. Right, so I have the classic yellow, which I, it's totally stock except for the color. I blacked out the hardware, right? The, the, pick, the pick guard was stock. I just switched the bridge, identical bridge, Wilkinson, uh, compensated saddle, brass bridge. I just uh, changed it to black. Uh, still the same electronics underneath. I just changed the hardware to black uh, and I put black tuners on them. They're about as good as the stock. They might be a little, a little better tuner. Um, I got them from Next Gen and they have a higher gear ratio. They have a 19 to 1 as opposed to 18 to 1 that the Musies come with. And again, roasted maple neck. So, you know, I love this thing if you've seen my video. Like, I use this thing all the time. This is kind of my go to guitar for the Tele stuff. And then the Fusion was just fantastic. Uh, I prefer Maple Neck, but man, that thing, it just it plays like butter. So, that was two for two. I was like, wow, this is crazy. Then I bought another Music Classic, um, a yellow one. It was great out of the box. Uh, I've since sold it to a friend. Um, I needed it for a gig where I was down tuned half a step for half the set and then regular tuning for the other half and I wanted two identical guitars, two same tuning. So, so I bought the second one and then, but I, you know, I don't need two of the same color. So I sold that one. And then um, I still have, you know, my classic infusion. And then this one came out. So my friend, uh, Two Bike Mike, he bought this one. Um, and he just you know, kept raving about the color and how beautiful it was. And I'm not really like a sparkly guy, you know? Well, clearly, <laughs> right? I'm not, I'm not like a sparkly guy. Uh, I could have maybe even combed my hair for this video, but nope, that's, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, folks. So, um, but this thing, so I thought, you know, I'm gonna grab it. I saw this one uh, on Amazon. Um, it, you know, when you click on them, you can see like get used or open box. Sometimes you see these little deals. So this was like an open box one, which meant it had been returned. So I was able to get this one for 
here in Canada, these are quite expensive. Well, as far as budget guitars go. And for almost, almost 200 off, like after taxes. So these are a little bit over $500 for me to buy. Um, so this was just over 300, I believe. I, I can't, I gotta go check my shopping cart there, but, but so I got a great deal on it. And I, and again, I could return it if I didn't really want it. So, uh, uh, <laughs> Now you guys can't tell about the playability and everything, but uh, obviously because you're there and I'm here. But as far as fit and finish goes, um, like this this paint job is crazy. Like it's got every color of metallic under the sun there. It's ridiculous. And I know you can't tell here in the room, but if there's green light, it'll turn green. If there's red light, it'll turn red. If there's like you know white light, it gotta turn silver. Like so, they have that all over the place. And then, and they also have it on the headstock, so matching, right? But then as far as everything else, you know, the, the block at the back, the bridge, the pickups, the frets, the materials, you know, the tuners, everything is the same. Uh, even like the knobs feel the same. So I thought it would be interesting, well, maybe to saw, I know to me, it would be interesting to see how close Musi is as far as like quality control in their, obviously their fit and finish, I I can't fault it. I, and if there's anybody out there who can, you have a better eye than I. Like I, I don't know, the, the fit and finish on these guitars is flawless, like it's fantastic. Other than maybe like a scratch or maybe like a, you know, something that may have happened in packaging or something, but Man, these guitars are unbelievable for the price. It, just, it doesn't make sense how they can produce something like this and sell it for a fraction of the cost of what you'd have to pay for a Fender guitar with those features. And you guys, you know it. You know it's true. Like, it's re it's ridiculous. So ridiculously good for us who like to buy more than one guitar and don't want to spend 1500 to 2000 on one, right? So... I think it's great. But what about sound? What like what about the consistency between the electronics? Are they as good? Or because a lot of these companies, you know, they, they they must have just a big bulk order of stuff, right? And those pickups come in and they fire them in the guitars and some are good, some are not good, some are right? Uh, or Maybe not. Maybe these pickups are made on a bench by the same guy or same girl and they're freaking, you know, bang on, accurate. I would find that hard to believe for that price point. But anyway, so I thought I would just run through some tones, clean and dirty, between the two guitars. And I'll kind of, um, I'll I use a little app, you know, for my videos called CapCut. So I can edit, I can take out some stuff, right? So I'll take out the dead time. Uh, between you know switching switching patch cords and stuff and i'll just go f directly from one to the other like right into the riff or into the song or whatever i don't really know what i'm going to play i never planned that ahead of time so um and then we'll just and then you guys can comment you can compare to see if you hear a difference so i have my cell phone you know clearly in front of me i'm just using a cell phone mic that that's it i don't use any recording devices or software and in behind the cell phone mic here, I will just roll over here and I will show you. So behind the cell phone mic is my 112 cab and my quilter. And it's set, everything is set at 12 o'clock except for the limiter and the master volume. Alrighty, alrighty. So I would say the phone is about 15 inches from the speaker um, The height of the phone is set right around the center of the speaker So I'm hoping you get like all the you know the mids and highs don't you know, coming right at you and uh, And I'll be over here at the other end of the room kind of so you can see which guitar I'm kind of using so um, There's gonna be mistakes guaranteed because this is not rehearsed so kind of don't listen so much to the playing the goal is to try to measure how consistent this particular company is from guitar to guitar, pickup to pickup, you know, switch to switch, basically. So, all right, 
let's get this done. So the only differences between these two guitars, this one I installed a string tree, this one really doesn't appear to need one. Um, it, the string is solid in the nut. So I'm not drilling another hole in the headstock, I'm just going to leave it. So anyway, alright. So here is humbucker mode bridge position. because we are going pull, pull, we're going single coil mode. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
there you have it. There's some cleans, humbucker modes, some clean split coil, and some dirt on humbucker modes, all three positions of the switch. Um, I didn't do the dirt single coil mode, but if some of you want to hear that, I, I can do that again. But the video is getting a little long, so uh, just, you know, at this point, you can tell. Uh, so one thing I will tell you, the Sparkle caster has 10 to 46 gauge strings on it, whereas the green machine has nines to 42. So that could potentially make a difference in the brightness. Also, these are Ernie Ball slinkies on the Sparkle caster, and these are DR dragon skin strings on the green machine. So obviously there's gonna be a discrepancy there. All in all, I would have to say that the Sparkle Caster sounds just a little bit crisper or brighter in all positions. However, I think that that could be just the string differences. Both these guitars are pretty much consistent from one to the other. Unbelievable. Why people are returning these is beyond me. Like, how good of a guitar player do you have to be to get one of these guitars in the mail, try it out, out of the box, play it, and think, no, nah, this will never do, and send it back? Holy smokes, really? <laughs> like, it just, it boggles my mind. Like, I just, I don't understand. Like, both of these guitars that I receive far surpass most of the Fenders and brand name guitars that I've ever owned. I just, I, you know, and I don't consider myself, you know, a good a guitar player or well-versed, you know, in scales and all this kind of stuff. And I know I have a lot to learn and, um, and forget about three or $4,000 guitars. Like I'm not buying those. Like there's just, it's just not happening. Not with the family and responsibilities and other financial, you know, necessities I have to take care of. It boggles my mind, like how consistent these instruments are and why anybody who plays a Telecaster who got would get one of these would think that it's not fit to keep. Now maybe maybe it's because it it exceeds their budget like for budget guitars and that I can understand totally. You know you buy a guitar it's yeah it's pushing six hundred dollars here in Canada and you try it and it's really good but you already have a guitar at home that maybe you've paid you know same amount or maybe eight hundred or a thousand dollars for and it's similar quality and you're like you know what I'm not buying another one and I could I could see that right maybe you buy it because of curiosity's sake but but what I can tell you guys who don't have one who are considering a buying one who think that these guitars are in your price range um, they are extremely consistent from one to the other it's it's crazy it's unbelievable um, I, I don't know what else to tell you like they are really good like I was expecting to see some kind of major difference and it's just not there. Anyway, you guys comment, see what you think. I'm going to sign off. I got to go cut some more lawn. <laughs> so uh, you guys take care. God bless. And thanks for watching.